the eve of morrow, never knowing when this will end. No end in sight. I am waiting for your light, my guide, my angel of the night, to come and rapture me and take me into your warm and loving embrace, cold with winter's electric chill, coursing through my veins, light. The thrill, like an answer to a prayer, long held, long remembered, long suggested, but suggestible, I am waiting for fruition. But she, cold cruelty, fate, laughs at me. And I am left without a hand to hold. I am left no other. I am waiting, or am I waiting no longer on a single star to collapse and looking forward to the supernova that will happen when the union finally grips and comes to sweet release. You terrify me, love. Love. And I can't go on wishing or holding on to you. To your star no matter how benevolent, any longer without a promise of winter's will coming to an end. You say, fickle fate in irony, I am ready. Or do you wish me to be ready? And what are you waiting for? What do I have to do? What do I have to do to earn your release, woman? That which I need is haunting, killing me, slowly like a dragon with his gold, like a dragon inside. Why? Why did I ever buy into your demands, O oh heart, only to be left here longing and wasting away? I am truly amethyst in origin and gay, happy, knowing my true sexuality, my beast nature, but bastard, ushered by a unique need, proper timing. Oh, wicked winter, when will she come to me? When will she finally be ready for me? I see only the reply. Soon, whispered, coming soon. Or is that too a lie? Flame, straight. Evergreen, Will, when is she coming? I lie here for the answer still. I, green, heavy.
heading toward fruition. When will you be ready? When the clock strikes ten. Your true need. You're almost there. The end.